Let's go ahead and clean up this area, though. What? It's like a miracle. They can't... They can't be shot! Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mod showcase! As you can see, we have a couple things behind us. We have a platform and a target. That's because we're going to be doing some target practice today because our mod is the Elemental Arrow mod. Now let's just go ahead and get on into it. As you can see, this mod adds a ton of new arrows into the game. Very simple. Not all of them have crafting recipes, but I will be showing what they do. Uh, so let's start with the basics. First, we have our bow. You got to have a bow in order to shoot arrows. This mod doesn't add any bows. There are a lot of other mods that do add bows, but I'm not not sure that the arrows will be compatible with it we have our original arrow first so i'll go ahead and take this guy out and we will fire it at the target Hup. oh bullseye awesome okay so and then i'll just i'll proceed to put them away as we go just so we don't get confused uh arrows obviously have this craft crafting recipe you're going to need it for a few of the crafting recipes of the advanced arrows of the elemental arrows the next arrow is the blindness arrow now this gives blindness on impact to the entity i'll go ahead and show what it looks like shot it looks like an arrow let's go can we look at it? Is it? Does it look any different in flight? Yeah, it's got a, like a little black tip, I think. Awesome. Okay, so we won't do that for every single one. I just wanted to see if we could actually see it in flight. The next arrow is our dazing arrow. I don't know how helpful this will be to shoot anything. Um, but I'll go ahead and I'll actually take that guy back out for a second here. Let's go ahead and go across the way and place some cows and we'll, we'll see. What are you doing? Stay in, in the pen. There you go. Okay, so we'll go ahead and shoot one of these guys with this. Let's see how this does. There you go. You can see the effects up in the top left-hand corner with our uh, damage indicators mod. Uh, it had it for about four seconds, I believe. Whoa. So uh, that's what I should do to see the arrow in flight is just tap it like that. My bad. So let's go ahead and test this one now. You can see that. You can see the tip on that. Now let's go ahead and shoot one of these guys. There you go, and now it's got the confusion effect, I believe. Yes, the confusion effect. Um, this is the dazing arrow, like I said. So, I believe it's the one where like it's a spinning effect, like it spins. Next, we have the dirt arrow, which does not have a crafting recipe. Now, this arrow uh, has higher knockback and more damage. We'll go ahead and take this guy, and first, let's fire it. Let's see how this flies. Okay, about the same velocity as a regular arrow. And we'll go ahead and shoot a fully healed cow. Ooh, you see the knockback on that? Let's do that again. Oh, man, that is crazy strong. Oh, that is super cool. Okay. We're going to end up with a lot of uh, beef at the end of this. I think we're going to be okay, though. Don't worry. Okay, and then the next arrow is the... Oh, this one's fun. This is called the egg arrow, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the target with it first. Oh, no! You, you did, if you saw it, there were ones over there. That's because it spawns baby chickens. Hello, baby chickens. Whenever you fire it. So let's do that again. Oh, they are there! No! No! Well, let's go ahead and shoot a cow and see how much damage it will take. Nine damage. Okay, awesome. Next one. Oh, this one's so cool. This is the Ender Arrow. Now, the Ender Arrow uh, teleports the shooter on impact to that location. So, obviously, I shouldn't be in the target, but that's okay. Um, that's just the way the arrow is set, but even if I, like, fire over there. Oh, I like the purple trail behind it. Look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Let's go ahead and try straight up. Look at that. Look at the uh, look at the effect on the back of it. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, man, that's a cool arrow. And I'm glad that one has a crafting recipe because then you can use it because you can travel in, like, really far distances in a survival. Uh, our next arrow is the explosion arrow. The explosion arrow creates an explosion at the impact of location. I'm guessing you guys could have assumed that. Oh, sorry about having any eye on, by the way. I'll turn that off. This arrow uh, is crafted with just an arrow and a piece of TNT. Now, I did make the uh, the target, if you didn't notice, a few layers thick so that we could go ahead and test this baby out with having, without having to worry about losing our whole target. Whoa. Hey, we freed the chicken. Yay! <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to fire this guy at those. <laughs> I don't want to ruin our platform, but I, I'm sure you guys get the idea. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the fire arrow. Unfortunately, there's no um, crafting recipe for this, but let's go ahead and fire this. And it's got the same drop. Does this, like, start fire, or is it just on fire? 
I guess it's the fire aspect that you can enchant the bow with, except you don't have to enchant the bow, you just have the arrow with it. If I had to guess, this would be made with, like, flint. Like, a flint and steel or whatever. Let's see if it starts this column fire. It does. Do we get cooked beef for it? Yeah, we do. He's on fire. There we go. Okay, so I guess it's, it's for, like, a guaranteed kill on animals and stuff, which is pretty cool. Our next arrow is the lightning arrow, I believe. Uh, this guy's pretty scary, I have to say. Let's go ahead and test it out on our target. Oh, that is so cool, though. Let's test it out on a cow. Okay, so as you can see, it's pretty strong. Let's get. Let's actually get some pigs out, huh? Pig. We'll grab one of him, and we need to also be careful because you get creepers out and uh yeah this could be this could be a catastrophe oh my bad we're still in uh peaceful there let's go ahead and shoot this guy with this arrow oh supercharged creeper that quick and then the pigs are because when you shoot pigs boom zombie pig men that is so cool all right now we're gonna have to kill them though I want. I really want this guy to explode, though. Come on, explode! You won't. You won't. You won't. Fine. You won't. Ha! Anyway, let's get back up here and try out the next arrow. Uh, the next arrow is the poison arrow. The poison arrow is crafted using a spider eye on top of a regular arrow. Now, this arrow has a poison effect on an impact on the uh, entity impacted. So we'll go ahead and see that on a cow over here. Boom, he's got three seconds of poison as well. Um, does not seem to be killing him off or anything. Super important, but I, I guess it would be very effective on players. Like, if they were poisoned and they had to carry that around with them for a period of time, I, I could see that being very, very terrible. The next one is the Eraser Arrow. The Eraser Arrow is created with three iron ingots. Very expensive, by the way. Uh, one stick and a feather. Now, the iron arrows... I mean the razor arrows, I apologize. The razor arrows is faster and increased damage. So let's go ahead and see that first on the target and then we will um, go ahead and check it on the cows. Okay, so that seems like, I can't, I don't know if you can call that faster. Let's go ahead and clean up this area though. What? It's like a miracle. They can't, they can't be shot. Okay, let's try it on some cows then, I guess. Ooh! Check out the damage on these! Oh, that's crazy! If I can hit them. Let's go ahead and spawn in some more cows for when we test out the next one. Rawr. Okay, there, that was really loud. <laughs> okay, um, we'll go ahead and put the razor. The razor one is really strong, though, and that's cool that it has a crafting recipe so you can actually use it. The vampire arrow, now you can probably guess but i will go ahead and show you anyway there we go you're back in game mode s and we can just go ow right so let's say we took some damage even though you know i'm so pro that that never happens to me that i never take damage uh, and let's go ahead and shoot some one of the cows come on hit one of them see and you see how our heart went up there it's because we hit a cow and it went up again and boom went up again that is still driving me insane that we can't just die. Okay, so yeah, that's the vampire arrow. Let me go ahead and go back into game mode C. Oh. And uh, but yeah, the vampire arrow and they look cool. Look very cool. Next, oh, this one is so cool. This is called the volley arrow. The volley arrow it shoots on impact multiple arrows to the target location. So let's go ahead and shoot the arrow that first. Hmm. There. Did you see it? Ready? Watch. See, it like it's like a Harrier strike of arrows. So let's go ahead and test it out on the cows now. I'll just shoot one one arrow in. And you see how cool that is? That is so awesome. So, yeah, I hope they add a crafting recipe to this one really soon because that is so cool. That, and it comes in from multiple angles. Oh, man, that is so awesome. Now, can you pick up those arrows? No, you can't pick them all up, so that's good. But that is so cool. That is called the volley arrow. Oh, man. I can't wait till they add that one. I, and they're they're still working on the mod, so it's it's okay. They're still gonna add stuff. Oh, the ice arrow. This ice arrow, um, 
When shot, it slows the entity on impact and a 25% chance to freeze the entity. So you see it's got a nice frozen trail at the end when we fire it. Now let's go ahead and shoot some of these cows and see what it, see what it does. Boom. Okay, so, so obviously that cow is slowed, right? But then there's that where you can actually freeze the cow. <laughs> you can freeze the cow. <laughs> that is so good. Why is that so funny? <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah, and so that's, that's the ice arrow. Um, I don't know why, but that stuff is, I don't, that, that was really good. Okay, and then the torch arrow. The torch arrow actually is an arrow. Once fired, uh, it tries to place a torch at the hit location. Otherwise, a torch will drop. So if we hit here, right? Did I do it? Uh-oh, uh-oh, what's going on? What's going on? No. Oh, it did it that time when I missed it. There, see? It's so like wherever it hits, but if you can't, if it can't be placed, then see, obviously it will drop. Let me pick up a, a torch. Oh, we should have a torch in our inventory. See? Pretty cool, right? So like, let's say you're like caving and you're like, oh no, I gotta, I gotta fight some baddies. And they're like all coming at you and you're like, I just gotta light this place up real quick. You know? You catch my drift? Sometimes they don't hit, but sometimes they do. I guess they gotta be in like the middle of the block. They can't be like on the edge of a block, but it's still pretty cool. And like you can shoot bad guys with it still, like uh, mobs and stuff with it still. So it's got multiple purposes. And like then you don't have to switch to torches or whatever if you're trying to defend yourself. I just think uh, that, that is so. What happened to the door? No. Ooh, it replaces stuff. Okay, so it's a little bit strong right now. <laughs> We're going to need some new doors. No big deal. Okay, and then the last one is our diamond arrow. The diamond arrow is very easy to craft, as you can see. Um, let's just go ahead and get this stuff out of our inventory for now. Sorry about that. Uh, this arrow has increased speed, and the damage is increased. Um, will never be a critical shot, though. So you can never have a critical hit, but... Oh, that is so cool. Look at the trail effect at, behind it. We'll fire one up in the air as well. And we'll watch it fall, because that is pretty cool. Holy crap, that goes really high up. But if you see the trail on it, oh, that is so cool. Okay, and now let's go ahead and test it on some of these cows. Ooh. They're fast. These arrows are so fast. I'm, like, half charging it, too. Like, I wasn't even full charged, and I'm just absolutely wrecking Oh, Elemental Arrows. This is such a cool mod, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the mod review. If you did, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Um, and let me know down below if you guys can think of any more really cool mods that you really want me to showcase. I clearly have my ones that I like, but uh, I'm interested to see what everybody else's tastes are. Uh, let's see if we can kill these chickens one more time. Nope. Okay, I'll see you guys later.